Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to edit your Google Classroom uh, documents on an iPhone. I am using an iPhone 11, okay? So when you log into Google Classrooms on your phone, you have uh, your classes. I only have one class, which is Math 11th period. So I'm going to go ahead and click where it says Math 11th period. Now on the very bottom, you have the word Stream, Classroom, and People. Well, Stream is just your announcements, okay? So as you can see here, Mr. Salinas posted an announcement that I can use uh, how to download the free six months here Inspire, that he also posted an assignment and all that jazz, okay? You can also respond to that. So let's go ahead and click on this and put K. And I can submit it, and there it is, okay? And Mr. Salinas will get a notification that I responded to his message. Okay, now on the very bottom we have classwork. So you're going to go ahead and click on classwork. And for this video, I'm going to do uh, the iPhone demonstration file. Here are all my assignments. One of them is due on March the 30th, and the second one is due on March the 27th. So for this video, I'm going to use the top one. So I'm going to click on it. Now, here I have my assignment. It tells me when it's due, the name of the assignment, how many points it's worth. It lets me know if I can, it, it allows me to leave a comment. And then we have the instructions. This video will show you how to edit your documents on an iPhone. On the very bottom, it says your work assigned and added private comment. You wanna go ahead and click on that arrow on that very top part right there. It's an upside down arrow key, like an upside down V, click on it. And it's gonna take you to your work. Now here you have the name of the file and it says PDF. How do I know it's PDF? Because there's a rectangle, sorry, there's a square that says PDF, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and tap on that file. So here you can see your assignments, okay? On the top you have the X. When I click on the X, it takes me back to the original uh, page where I can once again click on it and it takes me back here. It has the name of the file. Then I have a paper with a magnifying glass, a pencil, and a square. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that pencil. Okay, so on that page is going to allow me to go ahead and edit. Okay, so here I have an arrow. So if I click on that arrow, it'll take me to the second page. If I want to go back, I click on that arrow. Okay, and the very, very bottom, we have this thing right here. This is called your select tool. This allows you to edit your, your, your work. Okay, like if I put a text, I can move it around, okay? This allows you to clear your page. As you can see, I did that earlier when I made a, a mistake on my paper. Then here we have a pen. If I tap on that pen, I have different colors, okay? I have red, green, yellow, whatever. I can tap on that arrow and I can pick whatever color. In this case, I'm gonna choose green. And at the very bottom, you have the width. You have a small, and it keeps getting bigger, 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 wider. I'm gonna click on the second option because it writes better. And I can go ahead and write, hi. Okay, the next thing we have is a marker. Again, you tap on it, you can change the color. I'm gonna put pink, and then I can go ahead and write. See how it's a little bit thicker? The next thing we have is the highlighter. If I tap on the highlighter, I have the option to choose which color I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use purple, okay? So I can highlight something there. If I don't like the way I highlight it, I can go to the eraser tool and tap on what I did and it erases it, okay? Or if I just don't like all my work, I can click on the erase tool and clear the whole page. Do you see that? So right now I'm just gonna quickly highlight. I'm gonna change the width and make it a little bit wider for highlighting. So I already highlighted that. I'm gonna go ahead and write, uh, make a line here, tap on my pencil and put the word high. See how it keeps the same settings as before, okay? If I want to select something, I click on there and it allows me to either rotate or move something, okay? Now I'm gonna to go to the last option, which is the texting option, okay? So this allows you to type on your phone. So let's suppose I wanna answer number three and the answer is 48. So I can click on 48 and I can put X equals 48 return and once I'm done I can tap anywhere on the screen it's gonna stop it if I want to move it I click on the selection bar you see that and I'm gonna click on that now I can make it big I can make it small 
I can move it around to wherever I want it. Let's suppose I put it in the wrong spot and it actually belonged to number five. I can move it there and I can make it smaller and continue to move it to where I like it. Okay, now once you are done with that, okay, once you're done with everything and you want to save it, okay, and you want to submit it, on the very top you have a back arrow key. Do you see that? If I click on that back arrow key, it's changing the width of my X equals to 48. Do you see that? See how I moved it? Then I have another arrow. When I click on that arrow, it's redoing everything that I want it to do. Now there is a save button, okay? It's a little bit grayed out, but it's still gonna work. You're gonna click on save, and it's now it's saying PDF edit JM on iPhone, whatever. This is automatically saving your document. So now it's already saved. Now it doesn't look like it's saved because it just finished. See how it's like my old work? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the X, okay? Now notice how your assignment now says edited. See that? Before it just said JM iPhone editing, Google, Google class. Now it actually says edited. So when I click on that, all my work is saved. Do you see that? Ta-da! Hi, everything is saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the X and I'm gonna go here. Okay, make sure that it says edited. All you have to do from there is click on turn in and it says, do you want to turn in the submitted thing? Yes, I'm gonna turn it in. So all you do is turn it in and it's already been submitted. If you want to go back and change an answer because you messed up, you can click on unsubmit, click on unsubmit again, go to your edited, click on the pencil. You wanna add a text here, type it in here x equals 9. Return. Click anywhere on the screen. Click on the box. You can make it big, small. You can move it around. Okay. And then click on the save button. Now it's saving again. Click on the x where it says next to edit it. Click on x. And now it's automatically saved. So when I click on it, you can see that my X equals nine is there. Okay, so click X, click turn in, turn in again, and you're done. So this is, as simp this is so simple to do. I really hope you enjoyed my small tutorial on how to edit on an iPhone. Take care guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.